Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 6, thoughts. This episode is called Amogus Hide. And yes, another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but no spoilers in this video for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the site after strikers, and then there are some links to the videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So let's dive right in. So I gotta admit, when I first saw that Garner had survived, I was like, no, no, he hasn't. There's no way based on what we saw. But, you know, by the end of the episode, it, yeah, I, I completely, yeah. Um, I like the detail that there was an agent following Garner that, that Coulson put on him. That was, yeah, very, very nicely done. And, yeah, Melinda is not happy with Lance. She already didn't like him, and he knew that. But, yeah, this t takes it to, to a whole nother level. I, I think he, he's, he should consider himself lucky that, that Phil was right there. I would not want to be the, the subject of Melinda Ma May's wrath. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate them lending some, some weight to the, you know, are you back? I'm back. You know, very, very badass moment. And, and good job on holding off on, yeah, you know, for the first five episodes, she wasn't quite back with the, you know, she, she helped Lance with the, you know, attacking Grant, but she wasn't back as such fully. And, yeah, we learn that Werner has not, you know, has not called in, which does, of course, mean that he is now a liability for Grant and the, the rest of Hydra. I really like the theory that, La you know, by the end of the episode, we know that it's not the case, but the idea that Lash was a TCU does make a ton of sense, you know, and, and specifically the idea that it's Banks. Now, let's see, you know, who, who we know is desperate to kill Inhumans, like he's very aggressive about it. He's not it's not a paycheck for him. It's it's a cause. But the the yeah, it turning out to be Garner, yeah, now we know why he hasn't been approving anyone. He's you know, for any any inhuman for field work, he's not being careful. He's making it easier, you know, yeah, it's it's harder for him to, to kill them if they are out, you know, yeah, out in the field, surrounded by S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. And this also explains why he didn't, why Lash didn't kill Daisy. But did, you know, he killed, um, I forget his character name, but Fry, I think, he, he killed the IT guy, and... You know, that was so that it couldn't be tracked back to him. But but yeah, I, I don't know that it's like sympathy for Daisy. I think it's the fact that it's, you know, he can work her. He can use her to get to other Inhumans. But we'll see. You know, it could be. And yeah, so... Very cool to to see May and Bobby fight, and this is this is like the second time that I, if I recall, they also fought back when there were two shields fighting each other, and and yeah, I one hundred percent buy that Melinda would be like would would try to kick your ass to check if you're okay for field work. That seems one hundred percent like the kind of thing that she would do, and it also didn't, like, I didn't realize that was it until she said that was it. And, 
Yeah, I, I really appreciate the tension around whether or not Bobby is ready for the field, ready to fight. They actually... Werner's alias was Alexander Brown. So combining his real name with his alias would make Werner von Braun. So I wasn't the only person who draw that who, who drew that. Um yeah. Let's see. That is a killer song. And he was a killer in real life as well. Love seeing Powers Booth again. And yeah, so his the the character he played in the Avengers, the the Shadow Council the, the World Security Council was Gideon Malik and he was Hydra. You know, that does make a lot of sense, you know, considering that we now know that Hydra had so thoroughly infiltrated S.H.I.E.L.D. And, yeah, I like the back and forth about, you know, sharing information and, you know, Coulson does manage to convince her to... Yeah, that the to to that she should show him more. And yeah, I I found it kind of funny how in this episode, like Lance is desperate to like he's he's constantly going over in his head. You know, I I I screwed up. I should have done a better job with Grant, and like. He's bugging Fitz, who, who like, straight up comes out and says, Can you go be useful somewhere else, please? You know, and the, the yeah, he invites himself to, to the, the mission with Mac and Daisy. It just, yeah, he's, he's way overcompensating, and it's very funny. And... The yeah, I I quite liked May and Bobby going to the the bank, and you know she's she's like smiling and pretending. You know she knows that this guy does not speak Mandarin Chinese, so she's like they're they're you know going back and forth over around. Neither of them believe that Fitz got the ID ready in time, so you know. Better get your batons ready. She likes your tie. <laughs> and yeah, I it was it's very cool the thing that just opens all the bank boxes. And they set off an alarm and Bobby tries the, the gambit of We were just testing your security systems. Breaking into your vault? You know, very very fun, and and May is like, you know, smiling and you know, again like her body language says that that she's like agreeing with it, but the the you know her words are like questioning whether Bobby, you know, she's like this is not a good idea, you know, and and yeah, I mean, I will say was a a certainly an interesting and you know. Bobby, like, says, I've been looking into you, you know, and, and Fitz, ah, that's my cue, I, you know, I, I didn't know we were going this way, but I can, I can work this, and, you know, gets her the, the information about the place he used to work, the divorce, the, the money, I, I, like, you know, May's like, that's just mean, don't bring up his income, dude. I mean, I know I'm a, a badass, cold-blooded spy, but even I have my limits. And, you know, ultimately, one of the guards does not buy it, so they do still have to fight their way out. And, you know, May points out, is this you not wanting to fight? Did you actually think this was a good idea? Or, you know, which, you know, that is, that is an, an actual thing, you know, if someone has to, to 
take a break from from work for a while because of you know it's literally it's a physical injury you know it them coming back can be you know there can be issues there <clears throat> and i like how <laughs> mac never really holds his tongue when he feels like okay that this this person needs a, a piece of my mind you know so yeah you know and, and lance is like i don't think we're still talking about following banks are we and yeah and and you know daisy also comes right and says it's, and and confronts him about it and then we have the um, Yeah, I, I like Phil being like, ah, we can learn a lot about a woman by her choice of books. Did not know there were that many separate biographies of Margaret Thatcher. You know, I I was a little surprised that there wasn't, had, had there not already been one by 2015 of Hillary? I mean, she only lost in, in uh, 2016, so I know that was when you know, that was when she made that book about how it definitely wasn't her fault that she shouldn't at all have tried to appeal more voters. It was everybody else's fault. Like, don't get me wrong, she took it significantly better than Trump took losing 2020. But it is still, like, if you as a politician do not get elected, you might consider if your if your message, if your messaging was not quite on point. But yeah, there were there were a lot of different reasons why she lost. I'm not sure she's the best person at pinpointing any one of them. But yeah, the the um, let's see, yeah, <laughs> they're they're talking about okay, what do we do with with banks? I mean, you know, Mac could place like a a, was it a tracking track like a video camera under the speedometer. Yeah, but I mean, if if you get caught, that's really gonna mess the. Oh no, what was that? Was that the van door slamming? Where did Lance go? And just and you see him walk up with the bandana and like to to Banks, and it's like, oh, this is not good. This is not good. You know, he raises the ice or fires it. Just oh my, yeah, Lance, I I you definitely have anger issues. But, but yeah, as, you know, they do ultimately acknowledge the blood test idea is actually kind of smart. And, you know, the, uh, I, I don't know how we're going to get blood. We don't have a syringe here. <coughs> you know, okay, blood. Okay, maybe there's a little bit of an anger issue here. <laughs> and, yeah, so Colson thinks that Rosalind staged the break-in she thinks that he maybe had something to do with the break-in and you know by the end of the episode he realizes you know that bat was not there to make an impression on him that bat was her husband's and he's late he he tragically did not catch the bus in time seriously that is the silliest like oh they're they're late I, I, I think the idea is, oh, let's not be morbid. Let's not say they're dead. I don't know. This has always sounded silly to me. And then, we, yeah, I, I quite like the, the conversation between Grant and Gideon Malik. And, you know, it must have been really, really cool for, for um, Brett Dalton to get to act with powers booth r.i.p and yeah this thing of you know grant says that Werner isn't just a pawn there's a different game he's playing and gideon is like i'm willing to give up a piece to you know so that down the line you'll know to trust me which like legitimately like holy crap these guys are cold because that, you know, when, when, when Werner came to him, it was like, you know, you knew my father. 
you know, the, the, and the, the, you know, I'm his son, uh, you know, had, had a little bit of a Vaughn moment there, and, you know, you, you can help me, because Grant Ward is, you know, out to get me, and, and Gideon is like, you got it, buddy, you just, you stay put, I'm gonna go right in the other room, I'm gonna call Grant, I'm gonna tell him that you are off limits. Okay, so this is the address where you can pick him up. Are you comfortable in there? <laughs> Come soon. Just, that was, yeah, holy crap, but yeah. Um, that's Hydra for you. That's, that's fascists. If they can't use you, they'll dispose of you. And if disposing of you is actually useful for them, they will hop to it in, you know, fraction of a second. And, yeah, so, Daisy stole the dwarf from, from Fitz, and she does admit, okay, maybe I have issues too, you know, but that does, that's, that's very season one, Daisy, to, to do, and then we have the, yeah, the, you know, the blood test comes back, Brian, Banks is not Lash. And, yeah, good conversation between Fitz and Simmons. And, you know, he's like, no, I, I did look into it. I'm not, you know, postponing or, or something. I'm sorry. You know, I've all the, I've, I haven't found a single simulation that actually worked, you know. And I will get to know Will. And then we see, you know, he looked him up. And, yeah, there's maybe something there that Gemma doesn't know or, or something. We'll, we'll see where that is going. And the new dwarf is straight up invisible. Very cool. And yeah, you know, from the, the you know, what, what the ATCU is doing to Inhumans looks evil from the, you know, the dwarf point of view, you know, it looks, yeah, they're being caged like animals, and, you know, wow, Coulson seems completely unfazed by this, and then we see, no, he's, he's, it's being explained to him, you know, it's, it's, they're, they're basically asleep, they're not being, it's, it's not actually, you know, and, and, yeah, Rosalind even comes out and says, you know, I want them to be able to go home, be with their families, and let's see, then we have the, uh, yeah, Bobby gets back into the action, very, very cool, uh, you know, I, I like that brief bit of, you know, okay, here we go, and yeah, the, the batons twirling, always love to see it, and holy crap, badass fight between her and, and Kibo, and you know, the thing, you know, Kibo is like, I've taken down men three times your size, girl. What makes you think that you can, that you're going to win this experience? And she zaps with the, so they straight up are, you know, the, the, yeah. That's the kind of thing that Romanoff would do. So, yeah, makes a lot of sense that they have another S.H.I.E.L.D. agent doing that. And, yeah, you know, that I can imagine they can get some stuff out of Kibo. He was very close to Grant for a while, so that's a win. And Melinda talks to Dying Werner, and he explains, you know, that that's the, it's great because... Early in the episode, Kibo says you shouldn't have sent a boy to do a man's job, and Grant is like, I have plans, you know, there's a reason for it. We kind of just accepted, yeah, you know, he's a kid, he doesn't know what he's doing, he wasn't ready for this kind of thing, that's why it didn't work, but, you know, by the end we get the actual answer, no, 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 he, he did what he could, but Garner turned out to be Lash, you know, who wouldn't have you know, made a break for it at, at that point. And, you know, he tells Melinda this, and, yeah, I, I mean, 
I don't know exactly how she's going to to handle this. Is she going to tell the others? Is she going to try to take Lash out by herself? And there's obviously the emotional issue that this, you know, they used to to love each other. She still does have some feelings for him, you know. But but yeah, the fantastic transformation, just the the effects. You know, I, I really appreciate the, like, the shirt being torn ver very much like the the kind of, you know, Hulk transformation and, and also, you know, various other, like, werewolf transformation, that kind of thing. And the, the, now that we know that, that the normal human form is Garner. I really appreciate that it's two different actors, that the actor playing Lash in you know in the Lash form, that's actually you know that the the performer is Matthew Willig, where it's Blair Underwood who plays Garner the the rest of the time. And yeah, just you know fantastic physical performance. And let's see. yeah, and and the post credit scene, Lincoln and Daisy on the phone, and she, you know, signs off before the the before they're able to to track the the call, and let's see. I, I kind of enjoy the, yeah, you know, she says, I told you, you don't have to worry about me. Are you all right? You stayed safe. Safe as houses. What? It's an expression. People say that. Sure. And someday you can tell me how you survived the Dust Bowl and the Hoover administration, Grandpa. It's an ugly side of you, Daisy. And it is, you know, she she is known to, to be a, a smart aleck in, in certain situations. And, you know, Garner was like, ooh, was that, was that Lincoln? C uh, could you tell me where he is? You know, I'll, I'll, um, maybe, maybe, you know, quid pro quo Clarice. Some, you know, I really appreciate, you know, Blair Underwood did a great job making the performance just a tiny bit more sinister. It's like, for the audience, it's like, ah, you know, but for Daisy... It's like, eh, whatever. He's he's being a little pushy. Whatever, you know, no no big deal. And the let's see, yes. So some IMDb trivia for the episode. The title is a reference to Fantastic Four number forty-five from nineteen sixty-five, titled "Among Us Hide the Inhumans." The first appearance of the Inhumans: Black Bolt, Crystal, Karnak, Lockjaw, and Triton. It's the 50th episode of the show, and to celebrate reaching 50 episodes, Marvel released a video showing cast and crew members discussing their memories and favorite moments of the series so far. And someone added, it's revealed Dr. Andrew Garner is the inhuman lash. The first S.H.I.E.L.D. agent who gets to know this is his ex-wife, Agent Melinda May. I guess some of these I feel like it's just for, you know, in case someone is like, wait, when did we learn that? And just to go through these, I guess. And I think that might be about... <laughs> yeah. Um, I quite like... You know, the... the Bobby talking... You know, the, the this thing of... Um, let's see. Yeah, the the bank account that woke up. If we head down there, maybe we'll pick up his trail. He's on the run from war, from us. Almost makes me feel sorry for the kid. 